When a tooth is removed, the bone which previously housed it may begin to dissolve away or resorb almost immediately. The process can be accelerated by a soft tissue supported partial denture and other factors. If the resorption is severe, there may be inadequate bone to replace the missing tooth with a dental implant unless bone grafting procedures are performed in advance or specially modified implants are used. Bone resorption can compromise the dentist's ability to place an aesthetic dental implant with normal contours. An unnaturally long or tapered implant crown may result, which creates large triangular food traps and poor aesthetics. A fixed bridge may be an option, but would require tooth removal on the adjacent teeth and the use of special oral hygiene aids for effective plaque removal. Although aesthetics may not be a concern in every part of the mouth, bone resorption at an area that is visible in the smile can lead to significant compromises in the cosmetic treatment result. Here a fixed bridge with a normal sized replacement tooth or pontic would leave a sizable gap between the tooth and gums. Closing the gap with a bridge would require an abnormally long pontic. Restoring an area of untreated bone resorption in the front part of the mouth with a dental implant may not be possible without bone grafting first, and even if the implant can be placed, its position may also lead to a non-ideal aesthetic result. When an upper back tooth is lost, bone resorbs from two directions, the maxillary sinus and the mouth. This is known as sinus pneumatization. Without placing a bone graft into the sinus, there may be insufficient bone to stabilize dental implants. Fortunately, effective techniques for treating bone resorption prior to replacing the teeth have been developed and are commonly performed in dentistry. Here a block of cortical bone has been specially shaped and is being held in place with removable fixation screws. Techniques for avoiding bone resorption following tooth extraction are also commonly used. If you're facing the loss and replacement of a tooth, Ask your dentist whether bone grafting may be appropriate for you.